Hi guys and welcome back to Papi English. My name is Sam and I'm traveling around the world and teaching you English. Today I'm in Cadiz in Spain. We're going to explore this amazing city and of course I'm going to teach you English as well. So let's go. Let's begin this English language learning adventure in one of Spain's most historical and interesting cities. With its rich cultural heritage and a history that dates back over 3,000 years, Cadiz is a treasure trove of historical sites, charming streets and vibrant markets. This is the perfect destination to explore new horizons. This phrase is often used metaphorically to express the idea of discovering new opportunities, gaining new experiences or venturing into uncharted territories. In the context of Cadiz, this city's rich history and diverse attractions invite visitors to explore new horizons, both culturally and geographically. Welcome to Cadiz and let's learn English. So let's begin this video in La Caleta. This beach is one of the most iconic and traditional spots in the city, known for its unique charm and historical significance. Let's take a leisurely stroll along the beach and get ready for our next English lesson. So guys, this is La Caleta. It's got to be one of the coolest city beaches in the world. It's full of character and you really get a sense of Cadiz on this beach. Either side of the beach, there is a castle. On this side, there's the castle San Sebastiano and on the other side, the castle Santa Catarina. So this is a beach with a lot of history as well. And this beach has also been in films. I don't know if you remember the film with James Bond when Halle Berry walks out of the water in her bikini. Well, that was filmed on this beach. So guys, let's take the opportunity to learn an English idiom on this awesome beach, to draw a line in the sand. Now this idiom means that you have a clear boundary on a topic that should not be crossed. For example, when it comes to swimwear, I'm okay wearing a speedo like Daniel Craig, but I draw a line in the sand when it comes to wearing a mankini like Borat. It's not a good look. So now try and think of another situation in which you might draw a line in the sand and share it in the comments. In the meantime, I'm going to make my way to our next destination in Cadiz. Now we will explore Parque Genovese, a beautiful botanic garden renowned for its exquisite collection of plant species from around the world. Established in the mid 19th century, Parque Genovese provides a peaceful retreat for locals and visitors alike. So guys, this is Parque Genovese and this is a unique park and it's the biggest park in Cadiz. Now it's unique because there are over 100 species of tree from all over the world in this park. And when you come here, you have to look for the dragon tree. Not only because it has a cool name, but the dragon tree is over 100 years old. Okay guys, now it's time to learn an idiom in this amazing park. And um, I was looking for the dragon tree and I saw this tree and I saw this bark, which is the hard part of the trunk of the tree. And I thought this must be the dragon tree, right? It has to be. It looks like scales of a dragon. But anyway, it turns out I was barking up the wrong tree. Now this idiom, to bark up the wrong tree, means to take the wrong course and get something completely wrong, go completely in the wrong direction. I was barking up the wrong tree because this is not the dragon tree. This is the dragon tree. Sometimes we bark up the wrong tree, but if you don't give up, you'll find what you're looking for in the end. So now let's keep looking for English lessons in Cadiz. We're going to visit Plaza Minha, where you're going to find out why Cadiz is so important for my journey as an English language teacher. So guys, I'm now in Plaza de Mina. Now, I really like this square. It's pretty cool. It's got loads of trees and it's a nice place to get a bite to eat or something to drink as well. And this square is actually 
a bit special for me because this is where I began my journey as an English teacher and I did my training at an English school in one of the buildings here um, to become a teacher. So it feels like I have come full circle. Now to come full circle means to return to a place where you started something. So I was here eight years ago training to become an English teacher and now I'm back eight years later teaching you English. Anyway, I think it's time to get something to eat. Let's go. So let's go full circle again as I take you to one of my favorite tapas bars in Plaza de Mina, Maison Cumbres Mayores. We're going to try chocos fritos, in English, fried cuttlefish. Cuttlefish is similar to squid and these chocos are delicious with some beer. Now I'm ready to continue teaching you English. We're going to visit the stunning cathedral, Catedral de la Santa Cruz, which stands as a prominent landmark in Cadiz, attracting visitors with its rich history and religious significance. Something that makes Cadiz's cathedral unique is its golden dome, which is not seen in any other religious building in the Christian world. And this is a reminder of Cadiz's golden age. A golden age means a period in the past when things were at their best, happiest or most successful. Okay, so now let's go from the cathedral to Torre Tavera, one of the ancient towers of Cadiz, to learn more about the history of this great city and its golden age. So guys, we are now at Torre Tavera. This is one of 134 towers built in Cadiz in the 18th century. And from up here, you have amazing views of the city. Now, in the 18th century, Cadiz was very rich. It was trading with the Caribbean, which brought a lot of money to the city. And you could say Cadiz was in its heyday. Now, if somebody or something is in its heyday, it means it's in its most successful period, its most successful time. Cadiz was extremely rich. Cadiz was in its heyday. Okay, so therefore, as Cadiz was so rich, that is why we can see such beautiful architecture around the city today. Nowadays, the city isn't as economically successful, but in terms of beauty, lifestyle and culture, the city of Cadiz can still claim to be in its heyday. It can still claim to be in its golden age. So there we go guys, that's the amazing city of Cadiz and I've taught you some English as well. It's an amazing city to explore and I'm sure it has many more secrets to discover as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.